What's going on, everybody? So I'm heading to the jetties right now. But before I head to the jetties, I'm going to uh, the pier to get some mackerels so that I could use as bait. I already have lugworms. They're live. I bought them like about two days ago. If you keep them frozen from 45 to 50 degrees, um, they stay very fresh. So I put them in the refrigerator um, and they stay refrigerator or fridge one of the two my wife always corrects me with that but um that's what we're doing we heading there right now it's eight o'clock it's, it's about to be 8 30 at night doing some night fishing um i have my lights uh i'm gonna set everything up before i get to the jetties because going to the jetties it's a whole nother ball game i mean everything falls in between the rocks i've lost knives i've lost lures I've, I've i've lost so many different things um and and I, you know what i lost i went fishing on the surf and i lost my rod and the rod holder i think i didn't put it in all the way down it was a 250 dollar um uh reel and i was just so sad i almost gave up on fishing i was so devastated then i started looking at videos of people that fish and they have lost so many different things. This is a journey, you know, this is a journey. So we are officially fishing. So when you're officially fishing, you're going to, it's gonna happen to you, whatever, everything that happens, anything that happens to any other fisherman is gonna happen to you. So um, this place is known for a lot of macros. Um, this place that I'm going to, um, it is Redondo Pier. And then I'm gonna go to the, uh, to the jetty. That's about a good um, 15 minute walk. I like to do the walk because it's a great exercise. Um, usually you could park, uh, you know, you could drive like maybe five minutes and you get there, not even like probably like three minutes and you get there, but I like to walk it, get a good exercise. So um, yeah, watch what I'm gonna do in a few seconds. Hopefully my strategy works um, and my approach works and it's the perfect night, the perfect time. Um, right now is um, point one feet is going to go all the way up to three feet at two o'clock in the morning i'm not sure if i'm going to be fishing until that time but i'm excited as you can hear it in my voice every time i go fishing i'm excited um and so let's see kind of dark in here <laughs> so here's a couple of things that you need when you're going night fishing you definitely need a rag to clean your hands um things are going to get messy usually if you are you know, holding the fish and you're, you're catching a fish, you're using live bait, you're using worms, you're using all these different things that are so sticky, slimy. Some fish that you take out of there are usually very sticky and slimy. Um, you need bait, live bait. Uh, today I'm using lug worm and I'm also going to be using mackerel, which I'm going to get in a few moments. I don't have it right now, obviously. You definitely need a light. <laughs> with different settings. Um, this one is pretty cool. It's very bright. I like it and it's my favorite color, green. And you need something to eat, some sweets and some food. Thankfully, this jetty has a, um, a place for you to buy food. You also need some music. Have your headphones, put them in. You need some water. You definitely need water, okay? You, it's a must. Um, and also you need some, you need a water that you could just use just to clean your eyes or your hands. Cause sometimes salt water for your eyes is not, it's, it's going to be a problem. So you need one, which I already crumbled up. Okay. And then you need some gloves. You need some gloves. Um, I'm, I'm not going to take the whole box. They are like about how many, there's a whole lot of gloves in here. I'm going to take like seven to eight pairs and you need a bucket to fill it with water. All right. Don't forget anything in the car. Always have a checklist of all the things that you need because if you walk all the way to the jetty and you forget something, it sucks to pack everything up again, especially if you're by yourself. You got to pack everything up to go back and get what you need unless if you have confidence in another fisherman and you tell them to watch the stuff while you go get it. Anyways, that's it for my setup. Um, oh, yeah. Guess what? You need fishing rods. Oh, I almost forgot. No, I didn't. I just don't have them outside of the car yet. But let's get to the pier. All right, so something that I've learned about fishing is that 
you go to a place and everyone is not catching for long periods of time, just move and go somewhere else. So I've been here for a while already. It's pretty dark. You can't see much of the water, but there are two seals swimming by trying to get your whatever you catch. So I'm definitely going to be here for another 20 minutes and then um, head out to the jetty because I am not going to waste my time tonight. So that's what's going to happen. Seriously? That is just crazy. Look at that moon. Look at that moon. What a view. Crazy. I got a long way to walk to the jetty. I got some chicken nuggets, some french fries. It's about to go down. It's about to go down. All right, everybody, check this out. I got here at, I don't know if you can see it, 8.45. It's right there, 8.45. It's kind of hard to see. Anyways, it's... 3.30, all right, 3.30, you do the math. Put, put my other glove on right now. But this is what I got right here. Whoa, some big smelt. I wish I had a measuring tape to see how big it is. That's one. And this is two right here. Woo. Nice. It felt so good. I'm so tired. I felt the bite. I got some mackerel at the pier. And then from there, I was gonna go home and I said, let me just go one more time to see if I catch something big or bigger. And oh man. That feeling was so good. That feeling was so good. Finally, I redeemed myself. I can't wait to do this again. Um, for those of you that follow my channel, if you're interested in coming with me to go fishing, let me know. I will definitely show you everything that I've learned so far. I'm not an expert. I'm learning, all right? So I can show you everything I know. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, I tried using, when I first got here, I tried, I tried using worms, it wasn't working. My hooks were too big, then I changed them to smaller hooks. And then from there, I got some mackerel. And then with the mackerel, I went and I was using the squid, I was using a whole bunch of things, but it wasn't working at all, it wasn't working. And, um, but yeah, that's it. Um, I went to the jetties, the jetties was, the waves were crashing too much. So, um, finally, um, finally I'm done going home, going home to rest and I'm doing it tomorrow. So there's going to be a part two of this video tomorrow is happening. I'm asleep, wake up like around 11 and, um, hopefully, um, it's a beautiful day. But this is it for now. All right, y'all. Talk tomorrow. What's going on, peoples? It is the next day. I am heading straight to Cabrillo Beach. Um, it's funny because they say that only um, that you can only catch um, cabazones and lingots in uh, upstate um, California. But um, I actually caught a, I can't tell if it was a cabazon or a lingcod because it was blue. It was blue. So most likely it was a lingcod, even though some cabazons I heard, they could be blue. But anyways, I'm heading over there right now. I don't have any bait. I'm going to try my luck and see if I throw a sabiki rig out there and I get some some fish um, because I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to buy any bait i'm not i'm not gonna buy bait i'm just gonna go out there and just cast it out i'm gonna try the cast master um yesterday was an awesome night i mean
mean, you can still see my eyes. I still look crazy. It's two o'clock in the afternoon right now. I'm not going to, I'm not going to fish past 5.30. I'm not, um, I got to go home and do some studying, but, um, that's the goal today. Yeah, so the reason why I, the reason why I showed you guys that um, is because the swell was just unbelievable. It was just too crazy, too crazy. So I, I lasted there for like 30 minutes. I didn't even bother recording. I'm here right now. This is the location I'm at. Um, and um, I, I went and purchased some squid. There was a store right around there that has squid. And I'm just going to see if the squid that I got helps me out with some this place is known for um, just a big um, selection of fish. There's just so many different kinds of, um, of uh, fish that you could get from here. But like I said earlier, it's mainly known for halibut, halibut, okay? So I already see a fisherman over there and it looks like that's what he's going for. Um, so that's what I'm going to do right now. Just set up and put it out. I have two setups for this location and, uh, no bites, no nothing. Mm. I'm eating some Doritos. <laughs> but um no bites you got a fisherman over there Let's see if can i zoom in yes i can and uh he is just reeling it in non-stop just throws it out reel it reels it in he looks like an experienced uh fisherman just by the way he's casting out but probably he has got a fish but the way he does it um, maybe that's why he's so confident but you definitely have to have confidence in what you're doing if you don't ah, I just love looking at those ships over there oh, excuse me um, yeah you have to have confidence in what you're doing if you don't it's gonna be so doubtful there's a pier all the way over there. There's a lot of people running behind me. Must be lucky to live right there. If I live right there, I am coming fishing every day. <laughs> so, I don't know. No bites so far. I was hoping, he was getting closer to me. I was hoping he would get a little bit closer so I could ask him a few questions. Um, about fishing because obviously I don't know everything about fishing but hey I hope you guys are enjoying the view I'm not sure if I'm gonna get a fish today I'm not sure if this video is going to end with a fish on my line but it is what it is so usually when you're in a uh, chatter boat um, they uh they throw 
chum, something called chum. And they just throw a lot of uh, bait just out of the boat, just so that those fishes that are trying to um, swim by the boat could get uh, excited about all the food that is around. So I'm gonna do that right now to see if that works. I'm gonna cut this in a whole bunch of little pieces and then throw it out to see if that could work. I can't do it with one hand, so I'm gonna re I'm gonna show you guys after I break it up in pieces and then, and then show you how it looks afterwards. So this is how it looks if you get um, very uh, disgusted by um, <laughs> slimy things. This is how it looks, and uh, I don't know. I might join this video with the other video that I did last night, just because it just seems like a great experience in all because it's still the same continuation of yesterday. Uh, but yeah, this is how it looks. I'm just gonna throw it out there as far as I can. And hopefully <clears throat> some fish start smelling it and decide to um, get closer to the section where I'm at. All right, so I'm at the spot where I told you a few minutes ago, um, there was a couple that was here, well, a family, and they said they caught a bass. Whoa. Whoa, what was that? Did I get something on this rod? That was weird. That was pretty weird. Whoa, I just turned around. Anyways, they, had a, they said they had a bass. And, um, you know, they said they use squid, so they left their squid right here. They told me I could use it. So I'm just gonna just cut it all up because I have my own squid right here. I have my own squid. Um, there's a little bit of shrimp on this one that they left as well. Very nice family. So what I'm gonna do is that. I'm gonna cut all of this up in a whole bunch of little small pieces and I'm just gonna throw it out. And hopefully um, that attracts more fish. Sun is going down, it's a beautiful sight over here in Long Beach. Um, it's getting a little cold. We have the uh, nice um, Queen Mary right there and I believe that right there is the um, uh, Disney cruise, if I'm not mistaken. But um, yeah, it's pretty cold right now. So, oh, there goes my rod, you see that? My rod is going crazy. Is that something? That's something on my rod. I'm not sure, but that was a good pull. Seems like the fish are biting over here. Oh, they having fun. So it's very important to read. You, these are the fishes you can, these are the fish that you can't eat. I keep saying fishes, you can't say fishes. It's fish. Barracuda, top smelt, black croaker, um, barret or bear sand bass, white croaker. But yesterday, this is what I got. A top smelt. A top smelt. Ah, oh, I can't eat it. Well, I'm glad I read this. Um, it says choose healthy fish. Check your local advisory. There's got to be, be a reason why you can't eat it. But it is what it is. Um, I'm glad I know. Look at the fog. The fog is coming in strong. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> you want the perfect conditions for fishing, and sometimes it's not. But the weather is changing. It's getting colder at night. There was a lot of heat today. And it's just changing. Look at that. Look at those clouds. They're moving fast. Just look at that first crane right there and you can see how fast those clouds are moving. So I'm going to stay here for another 20 minutes and then that's it for this video. I am definitely mixing this video with the other one. Uh, I think it's appropriate. So I don't know if you could tell, but um, the waves are moving to the right. And uh, my guess is that 
I could be wrong, but the fish are coming in as well. Some fishes are just drifting in to see if they could get some uh, some smaller fish. Maybe that's the reason why the fishermen that were here earlier were getting so much fish, but that's just a possibility. Anyways, um, it is getting cold. I'm trying to end this video with a, uh, a catch, but that's never the case. It's not about what you know. It's about if the fish are biting and you get lucky enough, if God blesses you to get a fish.